week, we talked a little bit about your mental and physical health work in tandem and how beneficial meditation can actually be. But how the heck do you get started? How do you start meditating? Dana Brown showing us a mini meditation 101 class. Hey, Dana, this is Good very morning. exciting. Yes. Yes. yes I'm I, very, I love, we love your uh, outfit. No. Mind, Thank body, you, mind fitness. body fitness. It's you know, fantastic. comfortable for meditation. Becky yeah. was like, do you want to get in your workout gear? And I said, nah, I'm going to stay here. Namaste <laughs> here. <gasps> I love that. Oh, boom, my chicka boom. <laughs> I love that. Uh, but proof that you can meditate anywhere, anytime. Yeah, right? Exactly. In the middle of your day. But you just mentioned something important. Comfortable clothes. You don't want to be strapped in a suit when you're starting to meditate. You want to be comfortable, right? Ideally, yes. However, if However. you find yourself a little stressed out in the middle of the day and you need to just come back to yourself and be mindful for, for, for a minute, it's mm -hmm. okay to be wearing your work clothes. Sure. All so right. it's really more about, you know, I know we're going to get into this, but guided medita meditation. It's like you can be anywhere, right? And just if you're listening to something or even if you're able to tune out, I, there are those people who are gifted and they don't have their, I call it monkey brain, right? Like you're hearing like 50 All that noise. billion things going on exactly. in your head. Right. So it's scientifically proven that it provides mental clarity instantly, right? So why wouldn't we do it? All right. So, mm. and even if your mind is racing, you, know, you have to just kind of step into it and ask yourself, am I thinking about the past or am I in the future or can I be present? And mm. chances are, if you can find yourself present, you'll feel a lot better. Show us how. Okay. So sitting up nice and tall. Okay. Oh, I hate sitting up tall. Bring your hands on your knees. Yeah. And you can close your eyes or keep your eyes open. You decide. Right. But just get comfortable and bring your awareness to your breath. Take a full, full breath in through your nose, bringing oxygen into every cell in your body, holding it for a moment, and then exhaling it all out. Through the mouth? Through your mouth as if you're exhaling out of a straw and blow every last morsel of air out of your lungs. <laughs> Good. Do that again. Deep, deep breath, breath in through your nose. Filling your lungs with air, pausing for a moment, and exhaling it all out, starting fresh every single time. Keep breathing deeply and just take one hand to your heart. Breathe in as much as you can. And think about something that you're grateful for. It can be a person, it can be a place. Fully exhale all of the air out. And again, as you inhale, bring the oxygen into the tips of your toes. Full, full exhale. Relax your jaw, your throat, your chest. One more full inhale. Relax your eyelids. And just sitting up tall, lifting through the crown of your head, both hands down. And just open your eyes. Wow. I actually feel really good. You feel better? Um, <laughs> you know, my mind kept wandering. What were you thinking about? Chris Perkins. <laughs> <laughs> I when you said picture He's someone a, one of our editors here at Channel 3. I was picturing, Hello. picturing my grandmother who actually is watching the show right now. Oh really? And I literally was like focusing in on her and where she is right now and like because you're grateful well, for her. Well when you yeah. said uh, well when you said grateful I, I thought immediately of my job. Okay. So you were present. I was present. Yeah. You were thinking about something intentionally. Uh, right? Yes, I was. But, I, but the guided is so important. I, I'm, I agree. I'm much better with a guided mm -hmm. meditation than I am with a non guided meditation. I, I'm the same way. I totally agree. And you can go on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And there are so many different meditations. And That's so a good many idea. apps and stuff too. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, when when you hold events, meditation events and stuff, what is that experience like for people? Well, there are a lot of people obviously that have no experience with it at all. Mm -hmm. So. When we do events, we try to like introduce different forms of meditation. So we like the sound bath meditation or just a short meditation like that provides a body scan after a yoga class. Oh, a body scan. What is that? So lying down and just getting comfortable on your back and coordinating your breath with each body part. So thinking about your toes and moving them around and then relaxing them and then bringing it up to your ankles and then to your knees and then clenching your thighs and then releasing and moving up your body until you're completely relaxed. Is I it, used to do that with my kids yeah, when they were little. And I noticed my, my therapist who's trying to get me into meditation as well said he starts at the bottom and goes to the top as well. Is that the way to do it? Or does it's, it make a difference? 
that's the way I was taught to do it. But bottom, it makes sense. Up. Work from the bottom up. Yeah, okay. On the ground up. Head, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so funny when you said breathe oxygen into your toes. I started thinking in my head, they can't have socks over them. That's I what I was thinking. I did hear you giggle a little bit. I did. I giggled a little bit. I was like, my my toes can't breathe. They have socks over them. But the bottom line is, you were sending oxygen there. You were thinking about your toes, right? Yeah, absolutely. And you're breathing into it, and it's all about intention, right? And right. This is going to help regulate us. So here's how you can get in touch with Dana at the shops at Water's Edge in Westbrook. There is her information, BeMindBodyFitness.com.